This edition of Computer Club Lesson was recorded on September the 19th, 2016. We're going back to basics with James. Computer Club Lesson is brought to you by the Binary Guys. Hello, welcome to Computer Club Lesson. This episode is brought to you by the Binary Guys. of you that are old hands, welcome back for, for the uh, new year of lessons and fun time and hacking and all of that good stuff. For those of you that are new, you're new? You're new? You're new? Nah, to me, everyone's new. More news. Um, my name is Bob. Uh, this is my grandson, James. Um, I took over this gig a couple of years ago. Uh, I don't live in the village, uh, but I, I uh, service the computers in the village here. If you call me, you get, a, you get a better rate than if you take it somewhere else. I give the village a, a good rate for, for uh, being good customers. Um, for the most part, what we try to do is we try to film every lesson that we have here. And uh, when I, I uh, you give Donna, make sure Donna has your, e your proper email address. She will send it on to me and I put it in a list. And when I have a video of what we've done, I send you a link to the video and they're usually anywhere between 45 minutes and an hour long. And you can watch the lesson if you haven't, if you didn't come to the session, or you can watch it over again if there's something confused you, or you want to know more, or you want to, you want to just review what we've done. Or you want to see our pretty faces, yeah. one of the two. <laughs> okay. So uh, that's, that's part of the, the process of, of doing the lessons, uh, that they are all recorded. And by the way, uh, we have almost a year's worth of, of lessons, more than a year's worth of lessons already on YouTube. And you can go there and you can find all of the past lessons. Some of them are good. Some of them are not so good. Um, Mine are great. These are, <laughs> these are average. Mine are all over the place. <laughs> these are average. All right. So with that said, uh, we'll get on to it. I don't want to waste too much time on this. Um, and uh, James uh, and I are going to start off for the first couple of lessons of going back to basics. Uh, you know, the basic operation of your computer, how, how do you make it work? Um, there will always be time for questions. And so James is going to start off now with uh, some basic features and useful tips for you and uh, he'll, he'll natter on for about a half an hour and then uh, I will do something. Okay, so James Tag, you're it. Can we do tag backs? There you go, Tag, you're it. All right, so the most basic things for Windows is where are your programs? And your programs are all over the place, but they're always in. No disturbing my class. <laughs> um, they're always in those one spot, which is the start menu. Which, if you guys were around for last year or the year before that when I didn't have a job, uh, Windows 8 completely botched the start menu where you didn't really have a start menu anymore. Windows 10 uh, brings it back but with a few different changes. So this is your start menu now as four squares in the corner. If you click on that it will bring up this menu. Now 
Grandpa doesn't like to update anything, so he has an older version. But if you have an old Windows 10, you'll have the old apps thing right at the bottom of the menu. If you click that, it will bring up every single program or application the computer has in alphabetical order. So as, as long as you know the name, you can easily find it by like going to S for settings or stuff like that. Um, if you updated this into, I think it's 10.1 or something, uh, you won't have, uh, your start menu will be slightly more different. It will uh, get rid of all apps and it will have your programs all in the middle of the menu. Did this not come with an update then, 10.1? 10.1 uh, 10 is an update. If you do Windows Update, you'll eventually get... Oh, you get it from them? Yeah. Okay. So you'll have the, all the programs here, and all these will be hidden on the side as just the icons. And you'll still have the old Windows 8 apps from in your right. So the other thing that's um, different is before it was pretty easy to find like where's your shutdown or restart. Um, now it's the power button, which I like to call the Q doing a handstand. And if you click that, it will come up with another menu of sleep, shutdown, or restart, or log off if you have multiple profiles on your computer. I'm not going to do any of those because we need the computer. <laughs> but that's where your power is. The next thing to look at is the settings are also in here, but Windows 10 and I think Windows 8 also changed the settings. So now you have two different control panels essentially. You have a nice simple looking one and then you have the good old old style version where it's the old version from like Windows XP and onwards. Um, I prefer control uh, the old control panel a lot more as I'm just used to it, and you guys might be used to it as well. But the settings is pretty easy to tell where everything is. Like, if you go to system, it will tell you your power, your battery, how much those are being used. But it, I prefer the control panel. The next thing is just the file explorer, which, um, just brings up your um, where all your files are held. So if I opened up Bob Williams or whatever your user is called, it could be user file as well. It will pretty much open the, up the same same things where it just has your desktop downloads, etc. There's another way to find programs, files, and even settings, um, which is a lot easier. Next, next to the start menu is a magnifying glass, or it could be a box that looks like this. Uh, search. It could also say, look like this as well. Where it says search the web and windows. If you click in that box and type in, I want to, I made a picture a while ago. I don't know where it is, but I remember the name. I can type in the name of the picture and it will come up in the, in the menu so I can easily find it. And it will tell you where it can be found on certain things. You can even search for settings like um, printers and devices. 
here's your settings right here and everything else that has to do with printer in the name or in a hidden uh, list that describes what it, what it does as well. So you can find many things just by searching which is really easy to do. Um, the next thing is what um, are more of um, ways to make your lives a lot easier um, which is right click on the desktop screen. Now if you right click on the mouse or for me the touchpad you will come up with a little menu like this and the ones that we're going to be talking about are view, sort by, new, and a bit of personal, uh, personalize. But what view does is you can change how big the icons on the desktop are. For example, we can make them super, super big. <laughs> Bigger than most things on, on here. Or if you have really good eyesight and a lot of items, you can make them small icons. <laughs> uh, typically, the defaulted at normal or medium icons, where you could still fit a lot and it doesn't just clutter everything. The next thing in right click is sort by, and thank God Grandpa does not organize too well, so I can demonstrate this. But you see how all these programs are all over the place? It's, it's hard to find what you want. You can sort by uh, name, for example, and in alphabetical order, for the most part, it will put everything on the one side, and you can find them pretty easily. In fact, I think it might be backwards. Um, or you can sort by the size of the program or folder, but or the item type. Item type might be a bit more useful as it will put all the folders together, um, all like web-based things together, all pictures together. So it allows you to easily find, oh, these are my folders that I have on here, and this is the one I want. You can, um, the other one is good for if you have made a document or something along the lines, and you put it on your desktop, but you can't find it. If you do date modified, the, f the top ones are always the ones that had the last changes to it or have been made first or the newest ones. So if you made a document, they, it will roughly be up here and you can then say, oh yeah, that's my document that I've wanted. Um, the last thing is mainly for new computers or fresh installs of Windows 10. They only give you, I want to say my computer, my PC. or my PC, they only allow you to see my PC first. So if you right click and do personalize and then go to themes. Underneath related settings will be the desktop icon settings. Now if you click that, another window will pop up. And you should make sure that computer, users, users files, recycle bin, and control panel are all checked. Then once you hit apply, 
they'll all appear on the desktop and those are the easiest ways to find those specific programs as you'll go to them a lot. Um, the next thing that are more of tips to make your lives easier is called the task view and task bar. Now the task bar is the complete bottom of your monitor. So where the start menu is, the search function, all these programs, all this is your task bar. Um, these allow you to, for example, if I wanted, if I open up control panel, any moment now, thank you. If I open up a uh, control panel, I can right click on the program on the taskbar and I can pin it to the taskbar. This allows for when it's closed, it stays here for easy access later on. So things that you use a lot, like if you use Microsoft Excel to um, figure out which, what days you've taken your pills and whatnot, or your bank statements, you can keep Excel on the taskbar and it will allow you to just go there without having to search for the program over and over again. The task view is even more useful as it allows you to sort out um, all the windows that you have currently open. Like one day you're just on your computer and then you just notice you have 50, 50 um, windows open. You don't know how, you just have 50 windows. And instead of actually opening all of these, or closing them one by hand, you can go to task view, which is normally right beside the search function. So if you click on the task view, you'll get this, which you can then say, oh, I want to look at Google on Chrome. So I can click that and that will pop up on the top of all the windows. Or I want to look at my files, that can be popped up onto the top as well. The other thing you can do from task view is you can close the windows from here. So you can, I don't want two uh, web browsers on, so I can close my Microsoft Edge from here. And to make it even more simple, I don't want to look at my files currently, I just want Google Chrome to be up. So I can close all the programs and click Google Chrome and Google Chrome will be the only thing you have open. Also in the taskbar is another trick, if you can find a blank spot here. If you right click on a blank spot on your taskbar, you can sort the, your windows even further. So you can cascade your windows so they stack on top of one another, but you can still see how many windows you have open. Or if you have, want to look at all of them, you can stack them vertically, like so, or side by side. Now, if you do have many full screen windows or other things, like just millions and millions of windows open, instead of trying to find where your desktop is, if you go all the way to the corner of your taskbar, the bottom right corner, and you click that co corner, it will minimize every single window that's open and show you your desktop. 
You can also do that by, again, right clicking on an empty spot. And where that is, it will toggle between all the open windows and uh, the desktop. So if I right click again, all the windows will show, show up. And then I can show the desktop. This makes your life of having multitasking on your computer a lot easier instead of moving this window, closing this window, opening up this window. You can all do that with a simple click of the button. Now, how I made uh, my notes was I used a function in Windows that was added in Windows 7? Windows 7 had snapping, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's in Vista. Oh, yeah, Vista. So Vista introduced snapping Windows. So essentially what that is, is if you have a window open, if you hold your left mouse button and slam it to a side or a corner, you can, uh, it will snap half of the window to that one side and the other half can be another window. Now, this is how pretty much how I was making my notes as I would have my notes here and be watching videos on the other side. <laughs> I multitask. <laughs> Yeah, like if you hold your left mouse button on top of the window where the title is and the close and minimize and all that, and if you slam to the side, like make sure your mouse is touching the side, you'll see a little indicator come up and that's how much of the window it's going to take. So if you let go, it auto fills half of the window. You can also do up to four windows being on at the same time. So by doing that, you would, again, hold the left mouse button. But instead of slamming it to the side, you put it in the corner. And then it will only take up a quarter of your window. And if I bring up another one, I can do that as well. So you can have up to four windows at the, on at the same time and it'd be a lot easier to multitask with if you need to, for example, if you are writing something like I was, you can open up Google Chrome and allow it and use this to like research what you want and type what you find on the other side with while well, still looking at the window. Or if something is happening on one side of the screen, like you get an error or whatnot, you can make a notepad show up and put it to one side of the screen and type what you are seeing is happening for later use of telling us what happened. <laughs> or even searching it yourself on, on the internet. But snapping windows makes multitasking a lot simpler uh, to do. And are there any questions for anything I just talked about? I did a good job. <laughs> Yeah, this is a Windows 10 machine. Um, typically, if you go get a new computer, this is what you're going to have on it, typically. Sometimes the store will put on an older version of Windows 8, but typically they go with the newest operating system that is out there, which is Windows 10. James, in your search, your box, search bar, box down on the bottom there, yep. um, Right now, I've got Ask Me Anything, the presumably Cortana. Is, is she yeah. Cortana, 
uh, Cortana and the search is the same thing. It's the same thing, so I would still be typing in. Yeah. She's, that thing is there. Cortana uh, can be turned off, but I think we'll talk about that yeah, on, a, on a later should. date. Um, but Cortana is technically always running as long as you have the search fun function. The only difference is, uh, it won't keep coming up with, Hey, I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. Who here remembers Clippy <laughs> from good old Windows XP. <laughs> That's Computer Club lesson for today. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.